Welcome. My name is Kinetic Symphony. I'm a narrator focusing on Glitch in the Matrix stories. Let's get into it. Story Title I was an inch away from my dad, then he got home five minutes later. Author Name Lost in Protease This happened to me about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, and to this day I still can't quite say what happened. I was in my room. I was browsing the internet while I had a head of garlic roasting in the toaster oven in the kitchen. Then I heard my dad come inside, so I figured I could kill two birds with one stone and say hi to my dad while I went to check on my garlic. I walked out of my room and caught my dad halfway down the hall. I said hi and something along the lines of, gotta go check on my garlic. My dad simply replied with a quick hi and walked straight to his room. I didn't think too much of it and just figured he had a long day at work. It should be noted that our hallway is narrow and my dad is much bigger than me. So as I passed my dad in the hallway, I had to press myself against the wall just to squeeze past him. While I was in the kitchen, I heard the front door open. My dad's car started and he left, which I thought was super odd since he had only been home for about a few minutes at this point. Again, I just brushed it off and went back to my room. About five minutes later, could have been sooner to be honest. The front door opened again, and it was my dad, except this time he was loud and energetic. He came in and immediately hollered out, Is someone cooking? Something smells good. I came out of my room and said, Yeah, it's a garlic, remember? That's when he asked me what I meant when I said that he doesn't remember, and I explained to him that he had just been home, and I told him about the garlic when I passed him in the hallway, that he had just seen him a few minutes ago, and that he walked straight to his room. His demeanor immediately changed and he said, What do you mean? I just got off the highway and pulled into the driveway right now. Are you telling me someone else went into my room? I told him that I saw him go into his room. At this point, he was dead serious and went to his room to check for any missing items. At this point, he was under the belief that a home invader had come in and rummaged around his room. Once he was calm, I explained to him exactly what had happened, and even explained that the person I saw was even wearing the exact same outfit my dad was when he walked into the house. My dad was about as spooked as I was. To this day, I have no idea what happened there. At one point, we thought that maybe my dad had an absence spell, or something, since he's had times before when he was driving where he forgets chunks of time. Although we couldn't explain then why he came in and then immediately left again, or how it was that my dad clearly remembered just coming off the highway before getting into the house, or where he could have gone in the few brief minutes between when he first left and when he arrived again. And to this day, the one part that still really creeps me out is just how close I had been to my father when I slipped past him in the hallway. If anyone has any ideas of what might have happened, I'm all ears. Personal thoughts. Yeah, so a lot of people would be freaked out by something like this, understandably so. But reading this, I just get excited. I'm not even sure why. The details are all there and very clear. You saw your dad and you couldn't mistake your dad for an actual home invader, given that you had to pass by him so closely in a narrow hallway. So per your perspective, it absolutely was your dad. I assume nothing was missing, yeah? So it can't be some clever invader that somehow mission impossible his way to your dad's room, with a mask of your dad or something. I think maybe this could be forward projection. Your dad's soul or essence, never a good word for what I mean, pushed himself forward a few minutes. Why or how, I have no idea. So another thing I just thought of. Some physicists have this hypothesis that the whole universe has already played out, that time itself is an illusion, or rather the progress through time is. Every frame of reality has already been imprinted. But the truth is, quantum uncertainty makes it impossible to ever predict the future. There can't be just one future. It's not a calculation problem either. Even the universe itself doesn't know to better explain, huh, it's, it's so complicated, but okay, 
Um, the universe itself doesn't know where and how fast the particle is moving. So particles are thought to be just, um, you could say, excitations of different fields. An observed particle is a field that's been interacted with, which collapses the waveform. And you could see the, the waveform more like uncertainty. In doing so, the universe decides in that specific moment of interaction the properties of that particle. There's no hidden variables baked in. Thus, there's no information to use to calculate one singular future. If we had godly knowledge and could measure every single particle that currently has their waveform collapsed, without affecting them, any measurement also requires interaction, which changes the properties of the observed particle, even then we couldn't predict one future, because all the particles that have not yet have their waveforms collapsed are there, in limbo, I guess. Even the universe doesn't know their properties yet. So God would be at a loss. So perhaps you managed to see a few future frames of a possible future. One where your dad was down, lethargic, removed. Maybe something bad happened to him at work in that future, but not the one you currently occupy. <laughs> Sorry for the tangent there, kinda just poured out. I've always been fascinated with science. Especially the world of the quantum because it's so... It's almost ethereal. Or it's just maybe the fundamental processing layer of our universe if it is a simulation. Second story. Story title. A $10 bill turns to 20. Author name. Zombrizo. This happened to me today at work, and as soon as I did, I knew that I needed to post about it here. Now that I have the free time, I want to talk about something that left my coworker and I absolutely dumbfounded. To preface this, I want to say that I work in fast food, on an assembly line, where we make things in front of the customers. There's usually one or two of us in our shift, and luckily today I had someone there to confirm that I was not, in fact, crazy. As many of you know who work in fast food, it's not uncommon for customers to think their actual total is less than it actually is, or to try to short you. That happened today when a customer order came out to $16.56, and he only handed me a 10. I took the bill, but I told him that he still needed the $6.56. Mind you, my coworker was standing next to me, bagging his food. He reached into his wallet to grab another bill, but stopped and looked at me and said he gave me a 20. When I looked back down, well what would you know, it was a 20. I was way way confused, but I rang him up and let him leave and rushed back to talk to my coworker about it. Before I could even start, he said he had seen the guy only hand me a 10. I couldn't even wrap my mind around it. It just changed in my hand. We both talked about it and he told me that I should probably post about it. So here I am. I think that's all we talked about for the rest of our shift too, because it made us feel so many ways. I still can't fully grasp it though. When I tried looking at the cameras, I couldn't get close enough to see if it had been a 20 the whole time. But we both saw that it was just a 10 until it changed. It's not like anything had happened in between. I felt nothing at all, just a 10 that turned into a 20 somehow. I guess the customer was just lucky and everything was in his favor today, who knows. Needless to say, I don't think I'll be able to stop thinking about it for a while. Edit. I've commented before on a post about a ring that kept coming back. Well this has happened to me with my name work tag. No matter when or where or how I lose it, it always ends up back on my desk at home. It's like it's magnetized over the entire universe and it is always pulled back there. I don't know why it's my job that follows me everywhere, but I just thought I should add this little detail. Personal thoughts. Yeah, that's a cool little glitch. Your coworker was there and saw it happen too, exactly so. Otherwise I'd just have said, well, it's probably just a visual mistake. But with your eyewitness there, I can't say that. I'm guessing it's impossible to keep track of that specific bill at this point. Long gone in some bank vault by now. I wonder if it'll switch back into a 10. I also wonder if the customer who handed it to you saw it as a 20, then it morphed to a 10, 
then right back to a 20 in the span of a few seconds. Hmm. Or perhaps he was just a magician playing a little game on you. I've seen a few YouTubers do something similar to that. If it was a glitch, I'd sure love to figure out how he did it. Wouldn't we all? And that concludes the stories for tonight. I know you liked it, so hit the like button. And if you want more in the future, do subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you there.